Hi guys, so today I was going to be mixing up a batch of deodorizing spray. I use this for my dreads. Um, you can use it for wigs, you can use it for furniture, upholstery. Um, it's pretty much safe for anything you want to deodorize, provided you're not allergic to any of the oils that I'm about to mention. So you will need a few things. Um, I'll go ahead and insert a picture of my dreads now. Um, I usually wear them about a month. They can be uninstalled and reinstalled, but this will also work for natural dreads. Um, so all I have here is a spray bottle. This is a four ounce spray bottle. And this particular one is aluminum. All I have inside there is regular old tap water. You can use distilled water if you prefer. It will work. Um, you can also use the smaller um, spray bottles. I know they sell them at Target for a few dollars in the travel section. This I got on Amazon. I'll have the link down below for you guys for this one if you want it. So I'm going to be working with a few different oils today. But specifically, I'm going to be working with tea tree oil, which has some antibacterial properties, which helps eliminate odor. And then lemongrass, which also has antibacterial properties. These are the base of every batch that I make, and then I add different scents according to what I'm feeling at the time. So. 100% tea tree oil and 100% lemongrass oil. The other ones that I brought today are peppermint oil, which is really good for your scalp. It helps stimulate it, hair growth, that kind of stuff. Um, rosemary, which is also good for the hair. And then lavender oil, which is also good for the hair. This particular recipe is good if you're going to be out hiking or where there's going to be a lot of bugs. It helps repel um, ticks and it helps repel mosquitoes and flies. So if you have a family pet you could spray this on their back um, and help repel that. Now the odor does dissipate after a little bit so you may have to reapply depending how long you're going to be out. So let's go ahead and get started. I need to open my lavender oil. So I'm I'll have a couple different recipes down in the description box. I do recommend you guys fiddle with this and make it your own. This is just the batch that I'm making. I kind of make it different every time. So there's no wrong or right way to make it. So I'm going to be starting with the tea tree oil. And to 4 ounces of water I'm going to add 10 drops. Now if you don't like tea tree oil or lemongrass you can double those and take one or the other out. So the next one I'm going to be adding is the lemongrass. And I do prefer the smell of the lemongrass. I'm going to be putting more of that. I'm going to be putting 20 drops. And then for the peppermint oil, I'm going to be adding 10. For the rosemary, it's a pretty strong scent, so I'm only going to be doing 5. And I'm going to be doing 10 of the lavender. Now there are lots and lots of other oils that you can work with. Another really good one is lemon oil. It's really fresh smelling and citrus. I like that one during the summertime. Um, this is basically just kind of the base one that I go to. This is like my everyday. So when I'm ready to use it, what I do is I just shake it up to make sure that all of the oil is evenly dispersed in there. And then I part my hair and I spray it directly on my roots in different sections. Um, if I'm in an area where like someone smoked or something and my dreads are smelling like smoke or I need kind of all over, I will spray the entire um, dreads. Not soaking it, just a few spritzes is plenty to deodorize it for the day. This works really well to deodorize in between washing when you work out or anything like that or you're just doing something where you're sweating so it helps with the odor of sweat, it helps with other odors like cooking, just anything you can think of it pretty much will work on. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'll have some more information for you down in the description bar. Um, I recommend you go and do your own research on different oils and which ones you want to use and don't want to use. Everybody's preference is different. And like I said, you can mix and match the oils and create your own custom scent. That's the great thing about it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.